0345 60 60973. We're also having a conversation about Islamophobia and allegations that Islamophobia exists in an, to an unhealthy extent within the Conservative Party. And I want to get your view on that. So let's go to Redbridge and Abbas. Abbas, good morning. Hi there, good morning, Matt. Um, yeah, Matt, I, I think I agree with you in the sense that wherever there is bigotry, uh, whether it's anti-Semitism, whether it's... Uh, I don't know, I don't like to use the word Islamophobia, to be honest. I just think it is anti-Islamic bigotry because, um, you know, I think this phobia word, and people play, play with it quite often, and they say, well, oh, phobia is an irrational fear, and, you know, if you do fear certain things, it gets rather sort of messy, but... Uh, there is bigotry, and I think, you know, whether it's anti-Semitism, whether it's uh, racism, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, anti-Islamic bigotry, uh, it, it should be stamped out, because I, I think often what people don't seem to appreciate is that words are very powerful, and, and they change people's moods, and they change people's uh, intentions, and it changes people's reaction to other people. Uh, and it doesn't lead to a, a harmonious society, it leads to... It always leads to something ugly. And um, I think it's important that, uh, you know, we sort of stamp it out because, you know, we're seeing attacks, uh, you know, anti-Muslim attacks happening around the country. They, you know, they've increased, uh, you know, since uh, a lot of these, um, uh, you know, uh, incidents that we've seen, you know, with, with terrorism and what have you. But I think the media doesn't often help because, you know, you do have some right-wing elements of the media as well that, really do fan the flame. Uh, when I go back to, for example, Michael Gove, when he talked about the Trojan, Trojan horse thing, uh, it looked really, really alarming. It looked like some huge ring, organized extremist ring that was going around, you know, uh, north of England, and they were sort of radicalizing kids and what have you. And then it actually, when I read some subsequent reports afterwards, it was actually nothing like that at all. It was, it was grossly, grossly exaggerated. And I think as a consequence, you know, then people are fearful and they do react because, you know, the old saying, there's no, there's no uh, smoke without fire. You know, and if you keep presenting billowing smoke everywhere, people are going to think, well, there must be some truth to it. So what do, you, what do you say, of it would be like. Abbas, to, to this from Jan in Aberdeen, who says, Matt, you just have to think back to Rochdale grooming of young, white, vulnerable girls all Muslims and the way they treat their own females. I mean, it's just, it, it, look, there's no doubt there's a massive issue going on in Rochdale and other towns in, in the north of, of this country but to, and, and elsewhere as well. But, but to, to say, that, to attack all Muslims in, in such a brazen, open way and the, and, and the way that they treat their own females, it, I mean, are these people just uneducated or, or are they bad? Are they nasty people? What, what, what do you think Jan's getting at there? Well, look, Jan may have, you know, uh, real fears because of the statistics and because the way it's been presented to her. Uh, the, the reality here is, I think something 80-odd percent uh, were gangs in, in um, Rochdale were uh, Pakistani Muslim, uh, people who identified as Muslim. I mean, I, I, I don't want to sort of elaborate too much on that, but let's say, let's say they were 80-some percent, right? But did you know that 100 percent of paedophile rings happen to be white? So you could present that statistic in the media and then it would like look, oh, all white people somehow are have paedophile rings. But that would be very naive. I want you to stay there if you would. Just quickly bring in Valerie and Lambeth. Valerie, good morning. Just briefly, if, if you make your point. Yes, well, I think that it's easy enough to find out that if there's a phobia against uh, Islam, if the, they say they've ca uh, captured 12 groups of people who were ready to attack us in England, t planning terrorist attacks, tell us who those gro 12 groups of people were, are. They must have their names and their religions. If they're all Muslims, then we're right to be afraid of them. And it's not a phobia if it's all different groups, if there's some Chinese terrorists and some Christian terrorists, then, then it's a phobia. It's easy enough to prove. Valerie, stay there if you would. Abbas, your response to that? Uh, well, it, it's a very silly way, quite frankly, of putting things, because if, for example we have a particular area where there's a high incident of, let's say, black people doing street muggings. Are we going to say we should be then fearful of black people? That would be ridiculous to say, wouldn't it? Because we, we don't, do, we don't uh, 
we don't understand things in that way because if it's a very very small minority of people there are what 1.5 2 million muslims that live in england at the moment and if you've got 12 people or 20 people or 50 people that are crazy nutters that go out and do some horrible things that does not mean that the other 1.5 million or the 2 million are somehow uh, you know responsible or or should be feared as a consequence it's a ludicrous way of putting it um, thank you for that i think in fact there are 2,660,000 muslims in the uk valerie come back on that if you would quickly Yes, I will. If, if, I, if all the people who were trying to kill us are Muslims, then I'm afraid of them. I'm not afraid of all of them, and I'm absolutely certain that most Muslims want to live peacefully and decent lives, but I'm also certain that most of the terrorists are Muslims. Valerie, thank you. Abbas, final word to you on that. Well, in fact, Valerie's wrong on that as well, because if you look at these statistics presented by the CIA in terms of their uh, terrorism within America, for example, the highest group tends to be Latinos. And, 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 and Muslim terrorism or Islamic terrorism comes at number three or four. You can, you can do the search yourself. Abbas, thank you. And in fact, it's 2,660,000 Muslims in England. There are 76,000 Muslims in Scotland, 45,000 in Wales, and just 3,832 in Northern Ireland. That must be according to one census or another. Valerie, thank you to you too. Thank you to Abbas. Thank you to all of you who've contributed this. 